Excited about Airsoft? Hit the like button and comment to join other Airsofters in the conversation. What's up, Airsofters? One of the best ways Airsoft sets itself apart from other hobbies is the level of detail and realism of its replicas. When it comes to the ultimate immersive experience in Airsoft, there isn't a closer replication of functionality than a gas blowback rifle. The limited round count, the cycling mass, the recoil, and then there's the manual of arms, in which you've actually got to cycle the bolt to load the first round. It's rewarding, intoxicating, and fun. But there's no getting around that gas blowbacks can be quite expensive, and the cost of entry can be a bit of a barrier, not only due to the cost of the replica, but also the magazines, because of the materials required to hold gas and BBs at the same time. Because of this, many airsofters don't see GBBRs as a financially viable option. But it doesn't have to be that way. Introducing the s &T line of gas blowback M4s licensed by Cybergun. To understand why GBBRs are so popular for replicating realistic functionality and feel, one only needs to experience the recoil. Sure, AGs have tried, and some are pretty good, but there is nothing that truly compares to the felt recoil, bolt cycling, and sweet music to the ears of a gas blowback rifle in action. There's just something about it. You know, all of the desires for high rate of fire, and tons of rounds, uh, really high cycle rate, all of that goes out the window, sheerly because this feels amazing. But I digress. Let's take a look at what makes these S&T gas blowback rifles worth putting on your buy list. Starting with a full metal receiver, beautifully finished with Colt licensed trademarks, everything here feels very realistic and very close to the real thing. There are three different configurations of this Colt licensed GBBR. The M4A1 features that classic standard clamshell style handguard mounted between the delta ring and the triangular front sight, and a standard 14.5 inch outer barrel. If you're looking for a bit more modularity, the M4 Riz features a quad rail handguard with the Picatinny sections on the 369 and 12. The triangular front sight and 14.5 inch barrel remain the same. And if you're looking for something more appropriate for close quarters, the CQBR model offers a perfect combination of quad rail, triangle front sight post, and a handy 10.5 inch barrel. All three models in this series feature a standard buffer tube and classic LE stock, which has six positions of adjustment. Thankfully, because that's a standard sized buffer tube, you can swap this out for any stock you like. A semi-full set of ambidextrous controls are present, including a select fire switch and an ambi mag release. Though it is worth noting that the bolt release is only on the left side. Unlike an AEG, the select fire switch on a gas blowback rifle will only switch to safe if the bolt has been racked. And being a gas blowback rifle, it uses an airsoft trigger group. Interestingly, the anti-walk pins on either side of the receiver perform an actual function, keeping the trigger group pins in place and not vibrating out when the whole system is vibrating due to recoil. Also unique to gas blowback rifles are their triggers. Unlike an AEG, a gas blowback rifle trigger has an actual wall, an actual break, and an actual reset. If you're looking for the ultimate realism in airsoft, it doesn't get much more realer than this. Another departure from AEGs is the attachment of a realistically sized pistol grip. Since it doesn't house a motor, it can be exactly the same as a real grip, which also means that you can replace it with any real aftermarket parts and achieve a more vertical grip that's more comfortable for CQB. And since you're not constrained by the motor, your options are endless. There are two sling mount points in the traditional M4 locations, one under the front sight, or in this case, on the side of the front sight, and one on the bottom of the LE stock. 
These are perfect for webbing style slings, but you could easily put an adapter on the rail if you choose the one with the rail and a different stock on if you wanted to go with a more QD style. One of the nice things about this clamshell design is because it's connected to the delta ring, you could swap this out for uh, a bunch of different handguards that are compatible with this system and that fit this length and be able to customize this to your heart's content. Both the M4 Riz and the M4A1 come pre-installed with a removable carry handle on the top that cleverly conceals a Picatinny top rail. There are adapters on the market to run an optic mounted on top of the carry handle, but it's just as easy to remove it and run a standard Picatinny mounted optic. The CQB variant forgoes the carry handle in lieu of a detachable rear sight. One of the first things you notice when you pick up a GBBR is how realistically weighted they are. And thanks to the similar functionality of the gas powered system and the controls, rifles like this make for perfect training tools in addition to being a blast to use in airsoft skirmishes. It is worth noting that despite all the realism happening here and all the advantages that a GBBR does have, there's no getting around how expensive the magazines can be where an AEG user might be comfortable dropping their lightweight polymer mid-cap on the floor, any gas blowback user will cringe at simply dropping their heavy, expensive magazine, and will probably prefer to re-index it back into a dump pouch or a mag pocket on their vest. Speaking of magazines, in terms of compatibility, since there are a few popular gas systems on the market, it's always a safe bet to stick with the magazines produced by the same manufacturer as your gas blowback rifle. Each of the S&T gas blowback M4s comes in an S&T cardboard box, inside of which is the S&T gas blowback rifle held conveniently in foam. Inside we get a look at the specific model in this box. If they come with rails, they'll also come with a set of rail covers, an instruction manual, a gas blowback magazine, as well as a buffer or recoil tuning kit. Now they do come with uh, BBs, but you can go ahead and toss those. FPS testing showed an FPS of between 350 and 400 FPS using 0.20 gram BBs. This is going to vary somewhat based on the cooldown effect of your gas powered magazines and the ambient temperature you're playing in. Both showed a very realistic 14 rounds per second, closely matching the cyclic rate of their real counterparts. In our range tests, the Colt licensed M4 GBBRs laid down a consistent, well-placed grouping on both the six inch plate and the EVIC professional silhouette target at 50 feet. Out at 100 feet, the spread grew, but was still able to connect shots with the silhouette target. Given their relative size and performance, both options are well suited for outdoor play. Though a simple gas blowback rifle inner barrel and bucking would greatly improve groupings and accuracy, especially at farther distances. Hop up adjustments can be made by removing the lower half of the handguard and rotating the adjustment dial. The differences between AEG and gas blowback cannot be any more obvious. First, there's no gearbox here. Instead, there's a set of components that are both realistic in function as well as design. Inside the upper receiver is the core of the system, the gas-powered bolt assembly. This assembly performs a similar function to the blowback unit in a gas blowback pistol. At the front of the bolt carrier group is the mock bolt, which features a feeding tab as well as the brass nozzle which seals in the hop-up bucking. At the back of the receiver, the buffer spring and plunger can be removed by depressing the retaining pin. If you want to fine tune the recoil or performance of these gas blowback rifles, a set of pads and a heavier plunger are included in the box. If you're familiar with upgrading gas blowback pistols, think short stroking. In the lower receiver is the trigger group, magazine catch mechanism, and the select fire assembly. There is one major distinction we need to make here. Despite the incredible attention to detail paid to the internal components in these rifles, for legal reasons, they are intentionally designed not to be compatible with any real firearm components. This is for both your safety and the safety of the hobby. With that said, gas blowback rifles like these represent both some of the most realistic performance as well as true to form internal components that give you the most immersive experience possible. Upgrades and replacement parts for all of the internal components are available on our website for this system, as well as other accessories to help you personalize your gas blowback rifle. So, if you want to add some kick to your airsoft game, then the Colt licensed gas blowback M4 series of rifles by Cybergun are just what the recoil doctor ordered. You can find these and even more exciting airsoft products right here at evic.com. Thanks for watching.
Want even more Airsoft content? Hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification icon. Follow us on Instagram and join our Facebook for epic weekly giveaways. Gas blowback embellishments. Okay.